Hey everybody, good morning. Uh, it's June 13th here. It's uh, sun starting to rise up, getting a little hot. Uh, just want to do an update. Um, so, as you guys know, I have a little backyard beach here. Um, you can see the elephant ears, pygmy date palm over here. And we got the banana trees, which I'll show you guys this because every video I do, they seem to have another leaf. And this guy's put out maybe three leaves in the past week and a half. And then these have started pushing up new leaves too. There's two of them right there. And these leaves, between this leaf and this leaf coming where it was, been about five days. And of course you got the steel palm right here who keeps pushing up uh, ferns or palms, I should say, really fast. So uh, as you guys saw in the last video, uh, this all these were closed up and now they're open and coming out gonna have to repot this guy probably today um, over here we got another banana plant um, that's been pushing out like crazy uh, both this one and that one were pups so they started off when I planted them in the ground only about maybe three to four inches tall and now I want to say they're approaching about a foot if you count the very top of the leaf there but the real update today is the addition to this beach so you guys all seen this beach here but I worked over the weekend and got ourselves a new beach back up here so what we have here is I killed all the grass from the deck to the pool I dug it up put down some weed block tarp uh, the really thick stuff the, it should be good for about 15 20 years before it even starts breaking down um, and then I filled it with sand, built the boardwalk here, which uh, wasn't that hard. It really easy to do. You just lay down a nice uh, four inch by four inch thick uh, uh, boards here. And then you just put the, bl uh, the planks, which are four feet wide. Just screw them all in, build a little banana uh, garden over here. Um, <clears throat> we got the ice cream plant, ice cream banana plant here. Uh, these took a little damage during the tropical storm uh, before I planted them, but they're doing well. Uh, we got the blood banana plant here. I know it's blood. Uh, that's because of its dark red leaves that come in. So that's looking good. Uh, this leaf here just opened up. Last night it was still rolled up, so that's good. Uh, this blood banana is also pushing out new leaf here uh this had more leaves as well but because of the tropical storm it broke some of them off and then we got our ice cream banana plant right here um those two leaves on the ground they were damaged when i planted them i was hoping they might come back but i'm probably going to cut them off uh just so not to cause stress on the plant and the plant will then try pushing out new leaves but uh as you can tell these leaves are getting pretty big i want to say they're maybe two and a half feet big now so getting really really big beautiful thick leaves i love it um but yeah looking all good here i love the dune grass that's coming over the boardwalk i have and uh you got the uh chinese windmill palm right there just for now just decide to put them out let them soak up some sun in the beach uh these little lights here i have a couple more i was just messing with them last night figure out which way i want the lights to go um, but I'll do an update at nighttime once I get those installed. Uh, probably going to get four more. Space them out here, get nice and bright for nighttime. Especially since I've got some lights on the steps. And over at this beach, which I'll have to do at nighttime once I have this. But there's tons of lights up top there. Some all pointing up, down stuff. And then um, got one rock speaker there facing the hammocks. Another one might go, might put another rock there, but facing this way. For music or maybe over here or somewhere over here try to figure it out um, I did cut the grass yesterday uh, and one of the most annoying spots now is this area right here this I have to do something with because the grass here I'm gonna have to take some scissors and cut because if I get a weed whacker or a lawnmower too close it's gonna start throwing grass into the beach or to the mulch which I do not want so if anybody has any tips on that uh, to tell me how to take care of that 
or any ideas how to fix this area so I don't have to worry about the grass coming over. Um, my one solution that I had was in the fall, go over to my dune grass over here, uh, cut a piece out because uh, you can just break off the root ball and then plant it over there because before this dune grass was up against regular grass and whenever I cut, it would block any grass going into the beach. So I might do the same there. Let's just put some dune grass, oriental grass, probably the zebra because I love the zebra. Not that I don't like this little guy a year, but uh, Zebra just has bare eye appeal for me. And uh, probably put him there, but that won't grow until next year. Um, but I think that would be the best case scenario for me to do. Uh, but yeah, looks good. You know, uh, I love the fact that we're above the sand by about four inches. So it gives you that feel that you're actually on some like... Uh, boardwalk feel where uh you might have some ocean coming underneath it at some point i did try talking to my wife into letting me uh make a little pond with a wave simulator but she said no way uh, <laughs> and then i tried talking her into uh let me put resin here make it look like some of the water above the sand but she also shot that down so you gotta do what you can um going up here real quick we got the grapefruit tree which I'm gonna repot right here. This guy should probably put out some grapefruit this year. If not, definitely next year. I got from fra uh, fast growing trees. So what they do is they take a mature plant and they graft it. That way it produces fruit sooner. So we might even have a little something coming here, little stubs. Not quite sure this is the first time I'm doing this one. Then we got the Mexican fan palm, which is also gonna be repotted. Now, quick little trip to the hydroponic just see how it's going you can see i still left in that one lettuce plant a huge stock it just keeps getting bigger but we uh ate all the lettuce there we had lettuce for about three days and then tomatoes are coming in really good right here beautiful and then we got the strawberries there's strawberry nice little juicy strawberry here maybe i'll take a little bite of it let's see yeah, so a little strawberry. Uh, a lot of them are a lot bigger than this usually. I uh, don't see any other ones. Oh, here's one too right here. Nice little guy. I'll leave that for my wife. But bon appetit. Mmm, real juicy. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's barely any white to that, which is good shine with the flavor. Because the white part, if you ever eat strawberry, you notice there's less flavor. More flavor in this one than store-bought, I would say, for the most part. Um, it's a little tart, but I don't mind that. I actually enjoy the tartness of it. But it's it's delicious. Mm. Yeah, I would highly recommend hydroponics for strawberries. Easiest thing and most delicious. And then, of course, the lettuce is a good staple. Uh, we got some new lettuce growing right here, you see. Plant, I also got some inside, starting off with saplings. And then tomato plants. Those three would make up a great hydroponic garden. Easy to do, and everything like that. Let's see if we can see any of the fish too down here. Uh, any fishies? Nah, they're not showing themselves. Every now and then you see one come by. Um, but the pump is off for now. I'm going to be starting that back up. I was doing some maintenance on it. As you saw with the tape, uh, the tube I have isn't the right size for the pump, but I just wrap it up. But that's it. So, uh, please let me know what you think of the, uh, boardwalk here. Any other suggestions or things I should add to make it more eye appealing, but I think it looks pretty good now. Um, I'm going to be taking care of that fence area next. Uh, there's just a lot of logs there. I installed the fence this summer. And uh, need to take care of that because it's becoming an eyesore. <laughs> but that's everything. Uh, please like if you uh, appreciate the hard work I did over the weekend. And uh, subscribe if you want to keep seeing some new uh, content coming out. Mm, the strawberry is so good.